So what am I going to report on today? Layout details have been revealed for Plopsalander Pan's Mac Extreme Spinning Roller Coaster opening for the 2021 season. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Onkstavon, Bob Bill for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Plopsaland in Pan. Now before we get started we have a few uh, sort of things to mention. So of course, first of all, big shout out to Brian Galeas. If you want a shout out in our next video, then make sure you comment down below. Secondly, we've got all the stuff to come uh, with the Howlow Tween vlog and individual uh, videos from the Scare Mazes, so make sure you go check them out when they're uploaded. Also, already on our channel, we've got all news updates, Europa Park, uh, Simworks, Alton Towers, many other news updates, and finally, we uploaded a very special video yesterday. We uploaded the exclusive interview with YouTube sensation Morgs. So make sure you go and check that out if you haven't already. It was such a fantastic experience. I want to give a shout out to Morgs, Morgs' mom, um, his dad. Um, and all of his family and crew, they were so nice when we saw them at Hallow's screen yesterday. And uh, yeah, just big shout out to every single one of them. Because uh, they were really nice on the day. And um, I'm open to doing any future projects as well, so don't forget. Uh, <laughs> so let's get started then um, with this news update. I've just rubbed my ear because I've just come back from swimming and I've got water stuck in my ears. Uh, <laughs> so. This is Plopsaland Pan's 2021 coaster. Now, I'm really excited about this project. Now, we first uh, reported on the rumour of this project uh, a few months ago now, and then it was only a couple of months ago, or around one or two months ago, I think, uh, that we reported the conf confirmation of Plopsaland Pan's new 2021 Mac Extreme Spinning Roller Coaster. For those of you who don't know what that is, basically it's a spinning roller coaster with inversions. So look at Time Traveller at Silver Dollar City. Um, you know, that's the sort of only example we've got at the minute. Obviously, uh, Roland Mack has apparently expressed an interest in having one at Europa Park. So maybe we'll see that in a few years down the road. Obviously, we've got this one coming to Plopsland of Pan. 2021 is going to be the Battle of the Belgium parts. Because, of course, while the Belgium's doing their new Intamin Mega Coaster, obviously more details in terms of name and theme when we get it. And I'll report it here on the channel. Um, but basically this Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster we didn't know much about other than it was coming for the 2021 season. The original rumour was 2022, we now know it's coming in 2021. Not only do we know layout details, but we know the details of the location of the ride. So via the part map, I'm going to put something on your screen now. Fandabidorsi, what does that look like to you? That looks like the location of this new coaster. So this is going to be located at the heart of the park between the Plopuine, which for those of you who don't know is the Plop Garden, it's like a, uh, a playground sort of thing, and the Super Splash of Piet Pirat, so the Super Splash Coaster basically. Um, the station is going to be located at the descent of the Super Splash, and part of the course, including a loop and a so-called Cobra Roll, is being built above a large pond. So that area has been circled. Now, before I go any further, what do you think that area looks a bit like to you? Any guesses yet? It looks pretty much like the area we circled in that, well, sort of half of that um, um, area that we circled in the last update we did on this. Obviously, I, in the last video, I sort of circled a bit of land sort of behind um, the plot garden. That might still be used, but again, I don't know. Obviously, that area stretching out to the family coaster won't be used. Um, it'll just, if you sort of switch that area sort of a few paces to the right, uh, where the pond is and sort of shorten the circle a bit, you're looking at pretty much the location of this coaster. So let's get on with some details then on this coaster. So pass passengers are catapulted twice in advance during the ride. So we've got two launches, same as Time Traveller. Uh, they also go multiple times with the gondolas are spinning. The theme of the attraction is not yet known, but in the official document, the, the coaster is called Robo Spinner. I'm going to go on about that name in a little bit, but I sort of want to sink that name in. In the official documents as well, it also states that the highest point of the ride will be 26 meters. So we are thinking that's going to be uh, the highest point, like the highest inversion maybe. For those of you who don't know, 
Uh, it's 85 feet and 3.622 inches, so it's around 85.3 feet, uh, which is 26 meters. Um, now, of course, for those of you who uh, need a bit of a clue as to where the station's going, apart from that center of Super Splash, we know that some trees were removed where the station building is going to be located, and of course, um, Popsland already has one intense launch coaster with Anubis the Ride, which opened in 20, 2009 uh, with a height of 34 meters. Um, and of course, for those of you who don't know already, Popsland released their uh, sort of new developments over the next few years uh, already, which we've done a video on. Obviously, 2020, they're completing the whole Dino Splash refurbishment as well as opening the Plopsa Hotel. 2021, we're going to see this new this new Robo Spinner coaster. 2022. Uh, we know they're going to put in that Bumba Kids area for the kid, for the children and sort of like all these family attractions including the Dark Ride. Um, no family coaster now which is a bit of a change from the original plans. And of course 2023 we know they're doing the Plops uh, campaign. So that's just sort of all the details from the official article uh, from Loopings. If you want to go and check out that article I'm going to link that and Morgz's YouTube channel in the description down below. Again, so you can go and check out Morg's YouTube channel. And of course, if you want to read that article about Plopsland Japan, link in the description down below. So what do I think about the layout design then? So we know it's going to have a loop. We know it's going to have a so-called Cobra Roll and two, in, and two launches. We know it's going to have multiple inversions and two launches. Um, now, the name, Robo Spinner as well. Layout and name. Uh, now, of course, we don't know exactly if Robo Spinner is going to be the name. We know that's just a document name. Document names can change, you know, over the time. Uh, they can come up with even better names than it already has done. Obviously, this is a 2021 project, so we don't know when this is going to be fully announced. And we're going to see, like, an announcement video for this. But I am excited to see what the, tra uh, the teaser trailers are going to be and sort of, like, the, uh, the marketing campaign to promote and tease the ride. Um, one big thing I'm looking out for, if they're going to use the name Robo Spinner, is futuristic. Uh, teasing campaign. Now, of course, 2021 is personally my last year of uni, uh, and if this is going to open in the summer, I'd love to get out to Belgium at some point to ride this. Uh, obviously, Belgium is a big, you know, it's a big country for parks now, uh, with the likes of Walby Belgium, Popsan de Pan, more parks around the area, Baba Yonland, that's a big one. Um, so I think 2021, I want to try and get out there and do a Belgian mega trip where we do Wolby Belgium, Pop Santa Pan, maybe Boba Jean Land if they've got something up their sleeve for 2021 as well. Uh, sort of making the hat trick with the Belgian parks. So I think the, the main centre of Europe for 2021 for coasters is going to be that Belgium area. So it's definitely one area of Europe that I would like to visit in 2021. Very highly uh, looking, I, I, I look very happy to try and visit that area in 2021. Um, so it should be interesting for now at least until 2021 and the opening day to sort of follow the construction process for this ride uh, and the teasing process and the marketing process. Obviously more updates on marketing names, construction, we'll bring it to you here on Coast Channel YouTube channel when we get more updates uh, and bring them all together. Kind of like what we've done with Tanana Springs, Flamingolands 10 Looper next year. You know, we've done loads of construction updates on them, Pantheon. Uh, the 2021 project at Busch Gardens Williamsburg as well. We've done loads of construction projects and sort of following different projects. So, you know, this one's going to be no exception. And I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with this one. Now, like I said about the name, Robo Spinner, it sounds, it's one of those names again. It's one of those names that I've said in the past with the likes of Pantheon, uh, Iron Quasi, even though that sounds a really better name. Um... There's been other names as well, Icebreaker, you know, things like that. There's been names in the past, like in Inversion at Flamingoland here in the UK, uh, which is the rumoured name for the 10 Looper next year. Uh, rumoured to open in the Spring Bank holiday, so I'll try and make it down for the opening day for that next year. Um, one big thing with this then is the name, again, it's one of those where it sort of rolls off the top of your tongue and you sort of need to let it sink in. It's not one of those names that you're going to immediately hate. It's not one of those names that you're going to immediately like. But if this is going to be the name of the coaster, Robo Spinner, it's one of those names where it sounds cool once you get used to it. Like I've said in the past with a few other names like Pantheon, Icebreaker, Iron Guazi at times. Uh, it's one of those names that you have to get used to and it sort of sounds better um, over a period of time. 
So it's one of those names we're going to have to get used to if this is going to be the name for the ghoster. And like I said before, you've got to, you've got to keep an eye out for futuristic, robotic type uh, teasing for this coaster for it to confirm the name Robo Spinner. So we're going to use the name Robo Spinner for now as a code name. But again, once we see futuristic teasing, or if they announce it at some point, then we'll know exactly what the name of this coaster is going to be. So for now, we're codenaming it Robo Spinner because um, it was the name of the documents, like I said earlier. So overall, I'm really excited for this coaster. I think it's going to be the, one of the best coasters in Belgium. In fact, no, it's going to be the best coaster in Belgium if Wolby Belgium's uh, mega coaster gets built as well. Obviously, it is getting built, but you know, if the mega coaster. I think the Meg Coaster at Wolbe Belgium and Popsland Extreme Spinner are going to be on the same level as the best coasters in Belgium uh, and one of the best and one of the most highly rated in Europe. Uh, maybe it could be on a worldwide scale, who knows? Uh, we'll have to see with that. I'm sure Popsland can theme it extremely well. Um, nice queue line, nice station experience. Obviously, the station's going to be built around the descent of the Super Splash, so obviously, fingers crossed. Uh, my hope for this is if we see a launch. Uh, or one of the launches sort of going above Super Splash. Maybe not to ruin the experience of Super Splash, but like um, maybe like near or sort of like, like passing over the drop sort of thing. So I don't know. It's just one of those things that you sort of hope with, with that one. So there we go. So let's just look at Pots Under Pan's 2021 coaster. Uh, if you love the video, make sure you'll give it a like. Make sure you comment down your thoughts and theories down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Subscribe to Morgs uh, in the description down below. Make sure you go check out that interview we did with him at Howler Scream last night. And also make sure you go and check out the article for this and all the planning images in the description down below as well. Thank you very much. My name is Coach Chow. Keep on the coast life. And for now, guys, I'll see you guys in another video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.